Hey, uh, what you doing? Oh, I'm gonna see how many heavy bags it takes to stop a 50 cal. It's gonna be awesome. That is pretty cool. Where'd you get the bags? Uh, I stole them from a UFC fighter's gym. His name's like Steven Wonderbra or something. Oh, he's some welterweight. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, really? Oh! <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back on the range and today I have a very special guest, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. What's up? <laughs> He's got the right shirt. That's right, what's, what's up, everybody, up everybody, baby, let's go. <laughs> glad to be here, man, I'm excited. Glad, glad to have you. We're gonna have some fun with some punching bags today. Yep. I'm but not a, what you're used to. Not what I'm used to. I'm, we're not gonna be kicking and punching these bags, right? Right, we're gonna punch them with some, some lead. <laughs> I can't wait, baby, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. All right, so we've got seven punching bags today. Seven, seven of them. I've got bags. four 70 pound bags and 300 pound bags. Like what size do you normally train with? Usually like the 100 pound and, uh, and up, like we got big Muay Thai bags, but these okay. are perfect. These are perfect. So this is something that we usually use on a regular basis. More of the heavier ones. Okay. Um, Cause they can take, there's just more ump into it. There's, right. You know, a little more, more padding and stuff. And so it's easier on the joints. How many rounds do you think these things are gonna stop? Do you think this will stop a pistol like one of them? How many do you think is gonna stop a 50? I think, okay, one of these is gonna stop a pistol, I believe. Okay. I, I, or maybe, okay, maybe one and a half, I would say, a All pistol. Right. A 50 cal, I think I think it will stop it. I think it won't go all the way through. Yeah. I mean, all seven, you I think, don't think they'll go all the way yeah, through. Yeah, I'm thinking the 50 is gonna stop in number six. I agree, I, I'm with I'm, you on I'm that. I'm going with six. I'm with you on that. Okay, well, we're gonna start out with some smaller stuff, and then we're gonna work our way to the 50. So let's go get some stuff and get started. Let's go. Steven, no, we're shooting the bags. Quit punching them. Sorry, man, when there's bags out here, I feel like I gotta punch and kick them. All right, we're gonna start out small and work our way up to something big. So we're gonna start out with 22 long rifle. Steven's gonna take the first shots. Woohoo! There's one, there's two, there's the second one right there. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. nothing. It's still up in there. Up next is nine millimeter, but we're not gonna use your common nine millimeter. <laughs> Tight group. Yeah, tight group. One, two, three, four, five. Dude, nothing. 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 <laughs> Nine mil. Nine millimeter did not go through that bag. Up next is 45 ACP. We got the chrome Tommy gun. It's like it's only appropriate that Steven Thompson shoots the Thompson. The Thompson. <laughs> Dude. I don't know, you think it went through? I don't think it did. If uh, nine mil didn't, I don't know. No, sure it didn't. Nothing. Nothing's getting through this first bag. I may have bought too many bags. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is going to be 357 Magnum. I don't think it's going to make it through. Uh, I don't think so either. That first bag's pretty, uh, pretty stout. Here, two and hits here. there. And I, I don't see anything, nothing. Not even a bolt no, back there. No, I don't feel anything. <laughs> what the heck? So how many big handguns have you shot? Um, I'm pretty sure, my dad has a, uh, a Thompson Contender. Okay. So it's a handgun, but you go hunt with that bad right, boy. Right, right. We've got a 44 mag. I've shot here. a 45 before. Okay, well this got a little more pop. To it. <laughs> <laughs> 44 <laughs> Magnum. That may have gone through. <laughs> right here. And right here, I believe. Okay. I think here, yeah. Oh, yes, went through. We got one that went, went through. One, one, only one went through. So 44 mag made it through the bag. Yep. I wonder if, if, if maybe because the we first the one edge. created, yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't dead center, it was kind of off to the side. Probably why it went through. I gotta aim for the center. One of the 44 mags made it through, but we think that may have been because it went through the side. Right. We gotta, yeah. we gotta get center mass. We gotta hit center. So we're gonna go ahead and step it up to a Desert Eagle chambered in 50 AE. Woo! I'm thinking two bags. Uh, you th I think two bags. It's gonna go through two I, I bags. I think it's gonna go through the first bag. Yeah. Ooh. 
Golly. Golly, right here? Dude. Yeah? No? Nothing. What? Nothing. Shut up. <laughs> it didn't go through the first bag. No way. Well, How? I have one more handgun yeah. that is bigger than this, and I'm gonna let you do the honors. Oh my goodness. I'm a little nervous. All right, well this bag is stopping just about everything. Yeah. So it's time we step it up. 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum with a 500 grain hard cast. Yes! Have you ever shot anything like that? I have never shot anything like this before. <laughs> Woo! My gosh. That's some grip training right there. Right? Oh. <laughs> you should start shooting 500 Magnum before your matches. Yeah. Helps with the grabbing. Just, <clears throat> right, I, I agree with you. Helps condition the bones, you know what I'm saying? Dude. No! Dude, it, it stopped it. It stopped it. it. it, stopped it. it. The bullet's it. right here. Yeah. That's nuts. What in the world? That's a tough bag. That is a very tough bag. You good? Oh, I'm good, man. Handguns aren't making it through. No. So we're gonna have to step it up to some rifles. I think the the, the bullets here are more sleek. I think they're gonna go through into the second bag. Really? It's got, it's got to. All right. I think it went through, man. You think so? I think it went through. No. Dude. No, nothing. It stopped it all of us. What? You Dude, know what? They, they, I tough. mean, they have to make them stout. When you, got, when you got guys like myself hitting these things every day, you know, kicking yeah. and punching them, they have to be stout. He punches so. really hard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it stopped the five, five, six. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and really just bump it really up. Really bump it up. Now I've been saying like, every time it's gonna go through and I've been disappointed every time. <laughs> so I, this has got to go through. 30-06, 180 grain round. I think it will. Yeah. I think it'll make it to the first one, but maybe not. You're gonna do the honors. Oh, I'm doing this, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, let's go. I hit that bag hard. Oh yeah. Is this it right here? Uh, no, I think that there's no point in even finding it, man. There's nothing back here. No way. <laughs> no way. I mean, you can see the point of actually like where they're stopping. They're going through, but they're stopping right at the leather. Yeah. I think I, this is from the, 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 the 50, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Right? But I'm starting to feel through. really bad that I bought so many punching bags. <laughs> I don't think they're going to take these back. So we're gonna try one more thing before we step it up to the 50, 12 gauge. This is the TS-12. Got some back. slugs and this is gonna be all you, man. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I don't, all right. The way this thing's holding up, I don't think it's going through. Let's go. <laughs> Golly. Nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. Not a thing. I should have bought one bag. Yeah, <laughs> just one bag is all I should have bought. Why? We got one, two, we got seven bags. It's not even making fast the first one. <laughs> but you can see the impact. It's like dented in, like somebody just kicked it. So we got to kick it up 50, all the way. All we got left is the 50. Right. I don't think it's going to get past two. I don't think, I think, yeah. I'm about to say that my estimate of six, way off. We're going to go ahead and step up to the 50 BMG. We have the Serbu BFG 50A. We're gonna start out with a 660 grain full metal jacket. <laughs> What's your call? What do you think? I think one bag at this one point. One bag? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That had to have gone through every bag. All right, so, where did this bad boy go through? Where were you aiming at? Right here? Oh, that's right there. No. Is that it right here? Oh, here you go. We went through one bag. Oh, just one. And then one bag stopped it. Are you kidding me? No, well, it went through one bag. Second bag stopped it. Second bag stopped it. Golly. Let's see if I can find this thing. I've, it's warm in there. I mean, I feel it. I feel it a little bit. Okay, I'm done playing around. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and go big or go home. Ralphus round. Let's see how many of this makes it through. Oh. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. 
Golly. I feel like I felt it worse right here than sitting behind I it. I told you. Okay, we hit pretty much the same spot. Yep. Look, okay, there's your sand. Oh, there it is, yeah, yeah, That's It almost looks like hot. concrete. Did oh, not. Feel back here, though. Oh, wow. It almost made it through the almost second Almost made it through that. All right, up next, a silver red tip and armor piercing incendiary tracer. These seem to do better sometimes, so. Yeah. I'm really hopeful that it's gonna make it into the third bag. I'm hoping so too, because we, we need some action here. Yeah, we need, I'm we need something upset. to happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, it zipped up the side. Right oh, here. is that what happened? Look, change the directory of it. Oh, that's it? No, that's not it. Golly, it blew that stuff all out the side. Dang. Yeah, look, it lost control. Yeah. Hit the side of the bag, hit here, and then blew out the side and hit the burn. So when it hit center, it just changed direction. Yeah. Golly. Okay, so that came pretty close. It blew did. Blew out the side. Yep. So now I want to try one more round, and that's a black tip armor piercing round. All right. Golly. Okay, so that was a pretty fresh spot. Yeah. And it blew through here, and then here. Oh, dang it. And then it went to the berm again. They're losing control. Yeah, it? they are, as soon as they hit. Was it? Oh, yeah, I think you hit like right, right, right here. here. That's where you hit. So, I yeah, mean, you hit yeah, center. Yeah, you did. hit center, it's just like, they're just zinging. They're zinging off to the right. Let's take down these two. Yep. And let's dump several full metal jackets into these fresh bags and see how far we make it. Sounds through. good to me. So pretty much, we're finding out these bags are pretty tough. Pretty tough bags. And the most we've made it through is two bags. Yeah, two bags, but remember the directory was off a little bit, so it wasn't like full center, but right. it's getting through two bags. Well, now I wanna see what happens when we hit it with say, I don't know, five rounds in the same spot <laughs> of full metal jackets. Let's do it. All right. You ready? Ooh, I'm ready. Now let's see how many bags we made it through. Okay, well, first bag. We oh, definitely made it through the first what? Bag. Gosh. And then oh, group, second man. bag. Oh, ricochet off to the side. And we started going through the side again. No! They, there's where they are. Oh, they all yeah, hit right yeah. there. They're just like, they're not stabilizing. Yeah. Once they make it through that second bag, they're just blowing up the side. And I think after that first round, when it goes through, it's, it's given a path for the other ones to go the same direction. Yeah. We're going through two, right? But if even if it went to the third, I bet you it stopped in the third. I think so too. Three bags, it is, guys. So you've never shot a fifty before, never. So, what do you think? That whole experience was just amazing, man. I mean, I actually it was great, you know, shooting it, but it was a more, I think, of an experience just standing next to it when you were shooting right? it, those five rounds. It's insane. Oh my gosh, I feel like I don't know, man. If I wasn't ready for it, I would have, I would have fallen backwards. <laughs> It was ridiculous, man. It was awesome. Well, I'm glad that you had a lot of fun. I'm really glad you came out. Um, we were definitely wrong on our predictions with the bags. <laughs> Way off. Uh, I bought too many bags, <laughs> but I'm gonna send him home with like two of them for his gym. Maybe he can use them. We'll take them off your hands. Okay. Uh, Steven has his own YouTube channel. Be sure and go check him out. He's got some really cool stuff. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. Be sure and like this video, hit that subscribe button. And as always, my name is Scott. His name is Steven. Let's go. We'll see you next time.